minute since we did an update video. I This um, pregnancy has just gone by so incredibly fast. School took over my life even though I had one class. It took over my life. I hate statistics. I don't recommend that class. I mean, unless you have to do it, then I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel for you. But anyway, semester's almost done. Um, I have a little bit more free time. And... It is, yeah, I, I, I do excuse after excuse <laughs> every video, but whatever. You know what? We're done making excuses. Those who have followed me from the beginning know that I post videos when I post them. <laughs> anyway, so this video, as you can see by the title, is going to be um, my 10-week through 14-week pregnancy update. I am currently now 13 weeks, or not 13 weeks, I am currently... 23 weeks so I have a lot to catch you guys up on anyway let's get right to the video so I have to look down my phone because that's where all the notes are anyway so starting at 10 weeks I this was like how many weeks ago 13 weeks ago I'm supposed to remember all this thank god I took notes the exhaustion I think I said this in my last video the exhaustion was real but it literally like whooped my butt in the first trimester like towards the end of the first trimester it literally wiped me out my hips were really sore now I don't know if it was because of the way that I had been laying I know I was super uncomfortable um, trying to go to bed at night and I just kept tossing and turning and like I don't know like I don't know if it's my hip was it my hips or like towards like my glute area I'll show you I'll show you what I'm talking about but this bump is obviously not a 10 week bump so it was like right over here that it hurt so I think it's like I think it's my hip right I should know this I took anatomy but whatever so I remember that being really painful and it was really hard for me to get comfortable I had I think I had breakouts I must have broken out at some point in the first trimester because I put down my skin cleared from breakouts actually you know what I did I was breaking out on my um, chin a little bit I do remember that now but not like it wasn't like I have one right now it wasn't like a huge breakout but according to my notes it seems like <laughs> my breakouts are a lot headaches I remember they were like migraines so painful I needed quiet I needed I'm out of breath like the shades down I need pitch black room and having two kids one being a little tornado <laughs> like you just don't have time to relax and excuse me have peace and quiet it was that week was pretty bad with the headaches I would there was days that I remember crying because it was so painful and I'm not one to do like Tylenol right away I would suffer through the pain before putting Tylenol in my body I don't know why they say Tylenol is okay and I did I took Tylenol religiously with Zach so I don't know why I won't do it this time I have no idea but I had my 10 oh okay so it was I was 10 weeks and six days we had the intake appointment which is like that hour to an hour and a half long appointment where they ask you about your history and they did a an ultrasound just to make sure that the pregnancy was still progressing so everything is measuring good um, I remember the baby measuring I think it was measuring it was measuring a few days ahead but they didn't change my date or anything. I don't think they'll change your date unless it's like drastically ahead or behind. But my date is still August 14th as of right now. I put at 10 weeks that the baby was moving like crazy. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess it can happen. I, I think I probably felt little flutters, but it probably was like gas pains or something. I don't know. I don't know why I put baby moving like crazy. This is why 
you update every week and not wait until 13 weeks later. Anyway, so that was basically it for 10 weeks. So let's move on to 11 weeks once I catch my breath. So 11 weeks, I was still nauseous. I remember having, I guess they call that like lightning crotch where you feel like a jolting pain literally go up your entire vagina up and up through your cervix. I called the doctor about that, but that was completely normal. I remember having it with both the other kids, so I wasn't worried about it. I mean, it was still early in the pregnancy. 11 weeks is pretty still pretty early, so I wasn't too worried about it. I had weird pinching pains in my lower abdomen near my um, pelvis. Again, still early now that I'm thinking about it. Probably all normal. And I had more migraines from weeks like 10 to 13. I swear the migraines were real. In 11 weeks and six days, I had that. I opted to do the sequential screening, which is where they test you. They take blood tests and they do measurements through ultrasound to see if like your baby has like Down syndrome or anything like that. Everything turned out good for that, which I'm excited about. Now this test, um, you know, it's not required. They asked me if I wanted to do it. And I did it with both the other ones. So I figured why not? I get an ultrasound and I get to see the baby. I don't know when the next time I'd be able to see the baby would be. So um, they gave me some pictures. Is this it? They gave me pictures, but I don't know where they are. Anyway, yeah, I have pictures, but I grabbed the wrong one, so I don't know where they are. It literally looked like a little kidney. Was it a kidney bean? I think it was like a kidney bean. It looked like a kidney bean. No, it didn't. It looked like an alien. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so bad at this, you guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I had that testing. Everything came back good and dandy. So yay for that. Nothing really went on for 11 weeks. 12 weeks. The exhaustion hit harder, the migraines hit harder, I was miserable, I pretty much hated life. <laughs> First trimester, really, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. I pretty much cried every day because I was just in so much pain, I was so tired, all in my head, like my stomach was fine, I wasn't cramping, nothing, my hips, my head, <laughs> it was just, it was awful you guys. First trimester sucks, and I'm pretty sure I've said this in the other two videos. It's not freaking fun. I had extreme, extreme constipation this um, 12 week. I remember, I think it was like a Sunday. It was my weekend at work. I work overnights and day shifts sometimes. Um, it was a Sunday, and the pain like i was ready to go walk downstairs to ob triage because the pain was unbearable from the constipation i mean i know ob triage wouldn't have been able to do anything anyway for me because it wasn't really i mean i guess it was baby related but nothing to do with the actual baby itself i was in the bathroom for like 30 minutes at a time crying because the pain was unbearable i ended up going home early that day that night and I remember that when I woke up I just felt so weak everywhere so I don't know if the I guess the pain from the constipation made me feel weak my body was just like done and thank goodness my in-laws had the kids that Monday so I could just sleep and rest but I remember that being awful and I wouldn't wish that on like my enemy i really wouldn't going in to 13 weeks nothing really happened 13 weeks i do remember a lot of pressure near like my tailbone might have been actually my sciatica acting up but other than all that pain like in my tailbone i was extremely thirsty that week and a little bit of gassiness probably had something to do with the constipation the week before but other than that 13 weeks was Simple and easy. Week 14, I am hiccuping. <laughs> I remember being starving. Like I couldn't, oh my gosh. I couldn't eat, I couldn't get enough food like in my system. I was hungry. I felt like the bottomless pit, kind of like 
um, what I do now. <laughs> and I was very, very thirsty. All I wanted was ice water, which is good because drinking water when you're pregnant is like top priority. I did have bad gas pains that wrapped around my entire belly. I guess it kind of felt like the constipation cramps, but it wasn't as intense. But it like, it just wrapped around my belly. And I think I did call my doctor for that to see what I can do. And she did think that it was alongside of round ligament stretching. So that could have been the problem too. I had achy legs, which I remember this happening earlier on. The restless leg syndrome is so uncomfortable, you guys. Like, I, it takes me forever to go to sleep. Well, it did take me forever to go to sleep. And other than that, week 14 is when I stopped taking my vitamin B6 and Unisom combination because my nausea had went away. I felt human again, which was amazing. No more nausea after dinner or after eating or whatever craziness I had going on. It was gone. So that was all for weeks 10 through 14. Nothing drastic went on in that period. Everything was basically the same with the constipation, the exhaustion, the hunger, the thirst. It was pretty much the same so I hope you guys enjoyed this video again sorry for looking like a hot mess but um we had a long day today I'm very tired I need a nap but I have class and an exam so no can do anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video like I think I still have comments because I saw that people are having their comments disabled but think I still have them so leave a comment a like follow me on Instagram I'll leave my tag follow my Twitter and I'll keep you posted for my next update see you guys later